What is poppin' YouTube? It is your boys. We're back out again. It's been a few days. It's been a little bit since, like, maybe like a week since we did a video. But I've been hearing a lot of hype about this new Pokemon game that we just had on the little Pokemon live stream they did. I haven't watched anything. I've heard a bunch of people in live chats talk about it. As you guys know, I'm a big Pokemon fan base. All, all this stuff back here. Um, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to watch the new Pokemon game trailer. We're going to dive down deep if we want. I mean, if we want. I mean, pretty much kind of in my ability, you know, dive down deep. But uh, make sure you have a drink. Put your feet propped up. Put your Crocs on. Put your comfy pants on. If you feel like just rocking none of that, go ha go on ahead. Uh, get you a drink and a snack. I'm, you know, drinking G Fuel in my adult sippy cup. Anyways, let's get down into this. Cue the intro music. All right. All right, back up top. I mean, back up top. I mean, we're up top in the screen, as you know. Uh, we got a new Pokemon trailer pulled up. We're going to, you know, watch it. Enjoy it. It's only like three minutes. What else could go wrong? I love Pokemon. Not my socks off, Nintendo. Nintendo Switch sound off the back. Best, best video ever. This gives me, like, Detective Pikachu vibes. Not even going to lie. Okay. You can tell Pokemon putting it in the cinematics, you know? The cinematics in this are absolutely beautiful. That's right, Game Freak. I want to sound like that. <laughs> What's behind door number one, bro? What's behind door number one? Antiques. Okay. Okay. Some fresh coffee. Knowledge. Arceus is definitely doing something on this one. What do we got? Holy crap, that's bright. That's actually really pretty. It does give me the Arceus vibes though. Legends Arceus. But yeah, this is not final, so. Hopefully it's like the same like catching, like some same catching mechanics as well. Look at the meow. He's hanging out. Yo. Always Pikachu. Okay. New region. New region. Colors. This is just like basic though. This is like bare bones like before any game footage. So, I'm not mad. Not mad. You got the Nintendo Switch like you have every Nintendo console in every Pokemon game. Very nice. That's the OLED though. That's that fresh OLED. Whoa. New region, though. Pretty, pretty freaking stuff. And there's the new starters right there. Let me go ahead and pause on that. Let me go ahead and pause on the starters. Let me go ahead and look at them. Honestly, I'm a water starter kind of guy. Water starter kind of guy. And grass sometimes. Not too big on the fire types. But. I'd probably have to see the final evolutions. Not to really make a decision on my starter, because I'm probably going to do a playthrough with all of them regardless. Um, but I really like, I like the fire one and the grass one the best. But I would love to see, like, the f later evolutions of the water. That might sway me to want to play the water, because typically, I, like I said, I am the water starter kind of guy. But the grass one's precious. And the fire starter is just so, I love, he's goofy and so cute, and I just absolutely love his facial expression. But let's go, continue, let's continue. Cute. Cute. Still cute, you know? 
Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. So it's like red, like a red and purple. Red and purple. Just glorified red and purple. It's going to be late this year. So which means we're getting like, we're getting three Pokemon games in like a year time. Which is crazy. Which is super crazy. But let me go ahead and go back to this real quick. That way we can pause it. Because I know this is like, they're doing like kind of like a South America, like South America theme. But I don't know. You can just tell because that's like you got the South America house and kind of like, you know, you know what I'm saying. Very islandy, but like, you know, tropical and beautiful. But they said this is not actual game footage. Let me actually cut this music down just a little bit. And I hope you actually... Wait, let me go back. And that way we can zoom in on... Check out this route a little. Like, this is obviously going to be a route to one of the main cities. Like, the big city of the game. Because they always have that one big city in the middle. Like, Goldenrod and all that other stuff. And, like, Jubilee City. This is probably where the big old Pokemon is going to be, to be honest. But I like how open this is. I like... Just the aesthetic. You got a little pretty rainbow. I know that probably the textures are going to differ, but obviously, I don't care if it looks like this. I just play it. It looks pretty sick to me. The water's pretty nice. New po Different Pokemon at night. We're getting a whole new region of Pokemon. Obviously, some oldies are coming back. As you can see in the trailer, they got some older Pokemon in here. But they're not really giving us many new ones. I'm saying very like the scenery is very Legends Arceus, which is I'm not mad about. I actually love that game, phenomenal game. Hopefully we can get a find a Pikachu because I always struggle to find a Pikachu. But the terrain looks really really nice. The actual terrain, like you have all like the texture on the rocks, the shine on the Magnemite is really really cool. Just how far deep they're going, like compared to when I was a kid, is absolutely fantastic. I just can't wait to see what they incorporate for like something new into the game but this is just pretty just look at that i'd live there little villa house yes yes hopefully we're gonna see a lot of like old mechanics come back because they always try to refresh like the older pokemon game mechanic like some older game mechanics as well as bringing some new ones just to try out to see if people like them and if people like them they usually will be you know going to further further pokemon games but I like, I like the texture here. I like the depth of feel in this game. I like how you actually have the layers of just the whole land and scenery behind it. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, and it's just like the subtle... I'm going to go back and there's... Pokemon has some subtle details, you know? Wait, let's go back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You have the clothes rack moving with the wind. I mean, that's not... I mean, personally... It's the little things that make a difference to me. And just like the little textures. I know that some of these textures aren't going to be, like I've stated many, many times already, that they're not final. This is not actual game footage. This is just showing you sneak peeks of what they've been, you know, programming into this game thus far. But I remember years ago, people were talking about, like, back in the old days of, like, Pokemon forums. I know the Pokemon forums are still a big deal. I remember hearing some people say, like, making the name Pokemon Scarlet would be a, a video game. And a lot of people say Pokemon's just ran out of colors and rocks. But, you know, they have endless possibilities. They just got to make them tie together. But, you got all this little, all this stuff. And some of this stuff they actually put in games, I swear they sell it on the Pokemon website. Wait, can we go, can, is that going to zoom out enough for us to see the map? Is that going to zoom out enough for us to see the map? No, wait. Oh, they don't give you, like, a glimpse of that. Can we? Oh, man, YouTube, sorry. Come on. Wait, go back. Sorry, I'm really bad at going back. Oh, my God, I'm slow. Slow to draw. There's, like, half of the map. Okay, you can typically, you can, let me, hold on, we gotta move my face cam. We have to move my face cam. But typically over, he over here, in this direction over here, you see that it's going to be a pretty cool map. Not as much, from what I see, it's like, I don't know what the other side, but the top 
is obviously going to be the ice area because that typically is where they put it is just on top but you can just see a little partial in the, of the map in the corner very cloud like and wait a sec, let me let me let me go ahead and let me go ahead and uh hit the good old google real quick this is not what you think we're gonna go with yeah, South America map. We're gonna look at the South America map. Just because of the shapes, you know? Some of the shapes how you have like at the bottom of like, it's just gonna give me something that I don't want. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But like how you have like this little how it's shaped, like down in the bottom. It kinda gives me like an idea on here on how it's how this is shaped. If you go down here, I can't really zoom in on this. But you have like the little bubbly crannies of all the water down in like in South America. And I know I've heard that people that we're going to be having like a it's like a South American theme, you know, which is pretty pretty cool. I can't wait to see how they in, integrate all like the you know the artwork and like the architecture for that. As you can see, they've already they've done a little bit of that in on the video footage of the house. And they have to flex the OLED because they want you to buy the OLED, you know. Let's go back here. But yeah, I've. I watched a lot of skate footage from like South America and like to me this looks like a skate spot you know this is typically like a lot of the big city footage that you see in like skate videos because skate videos are very very focused on architecture I'll show you guys so I'll if you guys want I'll leave some South American skate footage that way you can just see all the scenery around not just the skateboarders and stuff but yeah it's really really cool very very pretty very luxurious very tropical but yeah, you have the very, very nice. And we're just going to go back to the starters one more time. Make that bigger. But I'm pretty, pretty excited. Can't wait to see more of this. I want to see more about these starters. Mostly, I want to see what other Pokemon they're going to be adding to this new generation of Pokemon. I'm stoked. This is going to be absolutely awesome. But uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, honestly, because... I never really sat back and just, you know, went, like, in-depth into something like this. Let me know if your thoughts and opinions. Let me know if my thoughts and opinions are wrong in the comments below. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more content along the future regarding this game amongst other games. But I'm stoked. The starters are absolutely precious. And I feel like they just keep getting, I mean, they just keep getting cooler and cooler as the years go by. They went from basic to super intricate, and I love it. But make sure you leave a comment down below if you haven't already done so. Smash that like button, subscribe, all that jazz. I'm Driftwood, your boy back at it again. Stay safe, stay healthy, and don't forget to stay popping out there, YouTube. Bye!